Hello, welcome back. Today we want to move on and continue talking about the video because last time we have a basic understanding of the image. So let's move on. Video data. Okay. So uh, you are watching me. Uh, explaining to you video data in a video format. Maybe uh, you watch it through the YouTube. It's a streaming video. Okay. I made the recording. I use the video editing tool. I kind of compress it in the for in the MP4 format without losing too much the detail. But actually, uh, it's already not original. That's what we call a Lucy data compression. Okay, we'll be talking about the compression technology uh, in the future. But today we just want to kind of extend from image to the video. Okay, let's first uh, let me draw the image. If we have an image, we consider a still image. Okay, because uh, you don't <laughs> usually we call the image, but the still image is something that when we compare the uh, video and the uh, image. Okay, why is <laughs> is the image is going to move? Um, yes, exactly. If you kind of uh, for example let me uh, create another image okay another still image another still image okay and each of the image kind of kind of change a little bit okay and this is our uh, time axis If we do that, uh, we actually can create a we call the motion 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 picture. Okay, motion means moving, right? Okay, and each of this kind of image, sometimes we will call it a frame. Okay, frame. Okay, we have a special name for it, like a, a framework, but it's a frame. Okay, literally, it's a still image. Okay, if you watch only single frame, it's it's just like this, still. Okay, not moving. Okay, but if uh, when you capturing the video into the digital way, okay, actually we capture every single frame. Okay. Very very at the at the uh, use maybe capture car, okay. So how fast uh, uh, do we capture it, and how many frames? And uh, normally we have uh, uh, thirty frames, thirty frames per second, okay. Which means uh, in one second. There is a thirty frames. This is a frame one. Okay, this is a frame thirties. Okay, first frame frame thirty. Okay, that's a lot. Okay, so if your program or if your hardware device will allow you to record maybe just simply ten second, actually. You are going to, uh, you are going to generate uh, ten sec ten second video. Uh, you are actually going to generate ten second bot times thirty frames, right? Thirty image. Okay, so for each frame, for example, if its dimension is just normal, maybe 1K by 1K, 
okay just make it simple 1k by 1k and uh, and each of the pixel element maybe just one byte one byte not three byte just one byte okay grayscale still this frame will take you uh, 1k by 1k equals 1 mega okay so uh, if you do a math okay 1k by 1k 1 mega and byte so 30 megabyte wow only one <laughs> one second you will generate 30 megabyte and after 10 seconds you will create um, 300 megabyte wow that's huge right <laughs> you can you can do the math after you record a one hour video how much disk space you need to prepare wow so video actually produce we are not talking about the audio yet uh, even the audio uh, relatively uh, the data size relatively uh, smaller than the video but yeah it still take uh, some data but video actually take a huge amount of the uh, information okay so that's it uh, in this short talk I just want to uh, explain to you that video is actually you can consider is kind of motion picture motion uh, image okay and secondly normally we talk about the frame rate okay frame rate so it's a frame rate in this course um, uh, programming when we do the Java programming we will write a program uh, to allow you to play back the video okay normally you will have a, a real-time motion uh, at least a 30 frame per second but sometimes uh, some uh, older video may not uh, capture at that speed maybe only have uh, uh, 15 frames per second uh, still you will see uh, animation but not as smooth as uh, uh, 30 frames per second okay can frame rate higher than the 30 frames per second for example you want the 60 frames or uh, 120 frames yes definitely how we uh, uh, make make this uh, if it, you, your application have this kind of event and you have the enough uh, hardware power to do that you can actually achieve that high frame rate and of course you need to pay for the uh, storage to keep it right so uh, when people talk about the image video audio or multimedia one thing quite important we also need to consider how to keep it how to transmit it okay because those information are time kind of time related of course images is not time related it's just a still but uh, uh, if it's when it comes to the video uh, it's time related audio time related animation time related okay so the longer the time you create the media uh, the more storage you, you uh, is required right so how can we keep it how can we store it how can we transmit in real time uh, it's a problem okay um, how do we how would you do that can we reduce it can we reduce the size it okay um, so how can we 
make it a smaller we call a compression oh that's too <laughs> too too thick okay oh data compression okay it's a uh, definitely uh, vital technology in digital world okay we'll be talking about that in the in the future section okay see you bye bye